My name is Ronald N. Diamond, and I was a June 1958 graduate of the law school. I was in the service during the Korean War, and as a consequence, I had several years of the GI Bill when I was uh, released. I had been studying uh, accounting at Temple, which I found that uh, even though I was good at, I didn't like very much. And I went to their psychology department and I took an aptitude test. And they told me that uh, I would enjoy being an attorney. So with the GI Bill, not liking accounting, I decided to apply and I was accepted. And I did enjoy my career, very much so. I was mainly a collection attorney, started out with retail collections and evolved into commercial collections. Although I did other things, I had adoption cases. I remember one client uh, who was really being ripped off by some contractor uh, who held a mortgage against her property. And I remember specifically when I got her out of that mortgage and I called and told her what the results were. I mean, she broke down and cried right on the telephone. And, you know, something like that you remember. And I had a goodly number of uh, adoption cases, which I enjoyed. And I had some divorce cases and personal injury. I had a pretty uh, varied practice, but mainly uh, in the commercial field. I remember Mr. Mishkin, uh, he taught a course in civil process, I think was the name of it. Took me a while to understand what he was teaching. And I think there were a number of people who uh, it took a while to understand. I'm not sure I really ever understood it. But I got through it. Uh, I remember uh, Mr. Bradley was, an, he taught us civil procedure. I thought he was an excellent instructor. And there was uh, Mr. Uh, Leo Levin. He also taught us some of that. Clark Bice was an excellent instructor. As a matter of fact, I remember years later, uh, if you remember at one time there was a uh, television program, The $64,000 Question. And they made a movie out of that. And his name was mentioned in that movie. I don't know if a lot of people picked up on it, but I happened to do so at that time. And there was Mr. Morris, Mr. Meacham, And I think the wills and estates was Harkins. And there was also another incident I remember. There was, at that time, a grain elevator at 30th and Market Street that blew up. And it was quite an explosion. I was in, I think, the Sharswood Library doing some work, and when that thing exploded, the building shook. Now, that building I mean, still looks like a fort, and it actually shook. I thought some 18-wheeler had run into it up the entrance, you know, this, the steps in the front of the building. And... Oh, I remember doing a lot of work in the libraries. 
In the summertime, I took a break from law school. I went up to the Catskill Mountains and made some money. And I also remember the first year was, at, was the longest year I ever spent in school. I think it started the day after Labor Day and went to the middle of June. And that was, that really was the longest year I ever spent in school that I can remember. Well, we had the one building at 34th and Chestnut. And as I remembered, we only had two classrooms. And you went upstairs to the second floor and there were two libraries, one on each end of the school. And that's all I remember. I don't remember any other classrooms or I, I don't know how any other years were taught. All I remember is those two classrooms for the incoming class. Then I believe in the second year, there was only one classroom. I think the, the two condensed into one. I know the fellow who sat next to me in the first year didn't come back. I remember two people who didn't come back for the second year. Uh, my home was in Winfield, but uh, for the first two years I lived at the dorms. It was easier. I could sleep later. I would learn the rules of court the common pleas court and the municipal court. I think that probably is very important. Some other things I don't know that you would like to hear. But, uh, that's just the one thing that I can really talk about. Terrific, thank you very much. You're quite welcome.